and you already know what it is. It's fit fishing, baby. And we out here. All right, you guys, fit fishing, baby. Happy to be here. Happy to be out here with you guys at Kuiper Regional Park. And it's always a good time. And we like to say it's always a good time because we know the um, how important it is to get a good peace of mind. You know, we either going to school every day for kids, um, even some adults going to school every day, and working every day. Um, we got a lot of stress whipped up in our realities at home, work, school, whatever. So we want to practice positive coping strategies. That's why we out here fishing, practicing positive coping strategies. Um, some people choose more negative coping strategies. And we're back, and we're back. What's up you guys, our to Fit Realtor. We out here having a good time. We got baits in the water. It's pretty dope. Here we trying to see what we can do. Yup, yeah. So we gonna work it out. And we're back, Arvell the Fit Realtor. Bear, we're back. Yakaipa Regional Park. We ain't been here in a while. But we're back. We're gonna get on these trout today. We're gonna get on these trout with the power bait, the worms, and we also got some little pumpkin seed jigs we're gonna try out today. Good times, always a good time. It's fit fishing, baby. Advocating manhood, fatherhood, positive coping strategies. Get you a fishing pole find you a lake and get to fishing. Pew. All right, you guys, you type a regional park on a Sunday. We out here, sunshine and nice. You see big bear, big bear in the background there. Good times, nice day to be on the lake. Fit fishing, baby. We're gonna get out here with this power bait and get some jigs on. And uh, once we get jigged up, we're going to go over there to that drain. And we're going to make it do what it do. Always a good time. All right, Bear, what you getting rigged up there? Um, Right here, I got some, I forgot what it's called. Mealworms. I'm putting some, two mealworms on here. Then about to put some garlic power bay on here. We did out there. All right, let me know when you're ready so we can get that first cast. All right, you guys, you type of regional park. You see this drain right here. We're going to try to get some jigs out over here after we get our power bait poles in. Last time I was here, this drain was producing. Good times. Nice day to be at the lake positive coping strategies good times let's go get this first cash all right bear before you cast it let them know how you rigged it up right here hold it I up got... hold it up no 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 no, hold hold the uh, the bait so they can see it. There we go, you guys. All right. Right here, I got a little weight, and then a few inches down, about a foot down, I got um, uh, what is it called a treble hook, and then two millworms and garlic power bait. All right. So we got the millworm power bait combo. Come get it out over here by this chair. Mealworm power bait combo, you guys. And uh, you're going to get that out and make that happen. All right. Good times. All right, you guys, we added again. We got the earthworm with the power bait about two feet up. Maybe 18 inches up. We got the split shot. All right, Bear's gonna get this one out. Cool. Now that one's out a little, a little deeper. All right, Bear. Which one you think gonna get hit first, man? Um, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking the um, garlic and milk. All right. Let's see. Good times. 
fit fishing baby and we out here and today we testing out these pumpkin seed looking uh atomic tubes we out here that's what we own today i'm getting ready to tie one up we're gonna take it over there to the drain and see if we can get something good on today our bill to fit realtor bear trout fishing we almost in the april middle of march a few more weeks of trout to go Nobody's going to be stocking trout in April, so we got to get it how we live right now. Good times. All right, you guys, it's Fit Fishing Baby, and it's always a good time. We're getting ready to get on these pumpkin seed jigs. I'm just going to tie it up, and then Bear's going to take it out there and make it happen. Go ahead and back it up a little. Mm -hmm. There we go. I gotta be smarter than the string, you guys. Alright, we want to go around five times, you guys. Then we want to go through the bottom. And then back through the top. Done. I've been tying this knot since I was a kid. Good times. All right, you guys, Bear's gonna get some jigging in. Off the drain. With the little pumpkin seed. When you get to them rocks, you don't have to get it up so they don't get stuck. All right. Let's get it back out there. Last time I was here, this they was killing them right here at the uh, drain. There you go. Bear jigging it back. Good times. Uh -oh. He hooked up with one over there. Jigging. That's pretty cool. Bears over here jigging. And they hooked up with one right over here. We got a 
And keep keep jigging, bear. Come on, man. Don't snatch it out like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. We jigging over here by the drain. Bear got the pumpkin seed atomic tube. But uh, anyway, our neighbor got hooked up on a nice little trout. He was fighting him real nice, but um, it jumped off. Good times. Reel it all the way up. There you go. Pretty good cast. Bring it back this way. Yeah. So he won't cross you. Fit fishing, baby. Mental fitness, physical fitness. That's what we stand for. You got to keep your body tight and you got to keep your mind tight, you guys. One way we do it is coming out here fishing. Another way we keep our mind tight is uh, journaling, emptying our thoughts every day or on a regular basis. Fit fishing, baby. Try to get it out of those weeds, bear. Good job. All right, you guys, fit fishing, baby. Happy to be here. Happy to be out here with you guys, your Kuiper Regional Park. And it's always a good time. And we like to say it's always a good time because we know the um, how important it is to get a good peace of mind. You know, we either going to school every day for kids um, even some adults going to school every day. We working every day. Um, we got a lot of stress built up in our realities at home, work, school, whatever. So we want to practice positive coping strategies. That's why we out here fishing, practicing positive coping strategies. Um, some people choose more negative coping strategies, such as uh, drinking and smoking, etc. But we want you to choose the positive coping strategies, such as fishing, fitness journaling etc and um, some people are choosing to end their lives because things get too bad for them but we want you guys to find some positive coping skills before things get too bad that you have to make that wrong permanent decision so stay encouraged stay blessed it's fit fishing baby that's why we out here we want to help you guys learn positive coping strategies as well as emphasize manhood and fatherhood good times always a good time fit fishing baby All right, you guys, one thing about Yukaipa Regional is this nice, clear view of the mountains. You know, you got, um, I believe that's Big Bear or Mount San Gorgonio, one of them, but uh, looks very nice. A lot of snow up there right now. So, good times, Yukaipa Regional, if you like scenery. All right, Bear. How was that jigging? That jigging going? Uh, it's okay. I didn't get any bites. Okay, so um, we know they over there because the one dude hooked up. So, is uh, you at least feel like it's a chance? 
Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you say something's defective, what happened? Oh, the jig tour. Okay. Well, we'll get that, um, we'll re, we'll, we'll, we'll tie another one up, man, and get it going. Good times, always a good time. All right, Bear, you got a message for, um, our viewers out there about, um, fishing and positive coping strategies? Uh yeah, for the kids out there, um, I come I come fishing because it helps me like get my mind right for school. You know, some uh, ne the next weeks. You know, some people are annoying. Maybe you're doing something at school, so I just come out here to fit fishing. It helps me get my mind my mind right, and I have fun. So yeah. All right, and that's why it's always a good time, right? Yep. Always a good time. Phew. Did you touch it? All right, you guys, we baiting and waiting it a little bit with the power bait and we jigging it up with this little pumpkin, pumpkin seed jig. We had a few little, um, we saw some action a little earlier. Our neighbors over here had one hooked up, but they, um, they actually, the fish jumped off, so they didn't get it in, but we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it rolling, you guys. Jigging it up. I told you that was the spot right there. Alright you guys, Bear's giving it another another go on the on the drain real quick. What'd you say, man? Have you seen that the, the uh, bald eagle that's around here? No. Nah. There's a bald eagle that hangs out of this tree. When he had the camera, I thought you spotted him, that's why. Oh nice. Yeah, right up here there's a bald eagle and he hangs out. And he's big, six foot wing spread, huge. Nice. Yeah, Bear, you can't step in front of him. He's cool, he's alright, we'll work together. We already kind of talked about it. Okay, cool. So Bear's giving it a go, you guys. He's trying to get in, get on one of these trout at the drain, which is a pretty good spot here at Yukaipa. Water level's a little low, though. Go over your left shoulder. Yeah, yeah, it's tall. You'll be all right. Good time. All right, you guys. I see a lot of little fish in here swimming around. Bears over here looking like a pro with the jig and the Polaroid glasses. Can you see in the water, Bear? You jammed up? Did it snap? Yeah. Ah, man. All right. Let's go tighten it up. We've got about four left. All right, you guys. We're making it happen with the jig, but we just, we, we on our second one. The first one ripped up, and then uh, this second one just got caught up on the rocks, so we lost it. So we're going to have to tie another one up so we can keep fishing. All right, you guys, instead of putting on another jig, we're gonna throw on this Castmaster. We're gonna see if we can get it, uh, get this in a little bit, see how this work out. Maybe they hit this, good times. Beer got the cash master, you guys. Let's see if they hit that. Fit fishing, baby, and we out here. Trying to figure out what the trout biting today at Yakaipa. We saw one get pulled almost in on a jig. Other than that, 
We haven't seen anything. A bunch of people was baiting and waiting along this shoreline. They left. Said not even a bite. So we out here. Make sure you don't cross his line, Bear. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Let it take it though. Pull that one up. There you go. Look like we getting hit on this black pole, you, on this gray pole, you guys. Let's see if it takes it. Let's see if it takes it. All right. Somebody's gonna get hungry eventually. All right, we waiting. Reel it in a little, bear. See if it's on there. Well, reel it in first a little bit and see if it's on there. Right. He's getting a bite right now. Alright you guys, Bear's gonna check the bait here. We got another good little hit on it. So we might have to put some more power bait on. Or redo it. Why don't you put more power bait on and another worm? Unless the worm is still on there. Is the worm still on there? Yeah, but I put two on there. There's only one. Okay, put some more power bait on it and let's get it back out there. All right, you guys, so we done been through the pumpkin seed atomic tube. We hit him with the bait caster. Now Bear got the power worm on a jig head. So let them know what you got going and where you going, Bear. Uh, all right, so right here I got this, um, what is it called? Chartreuse. The chartreuse power worm on this uh, tiny um, jig head. Yeah, jig head on this tiny jig head. I'm about to cast it out to see how it goes. All right. He's going over there to the drain, you guys. Let's see how that works out. Fit fishing, baby, and we out here. Yukaipa Regional Park giving us a run for our money today, you guys. Um, bears over there jigging it out. We got um, power bait out, the chartreuse power bait, the garlic worm power bait and uh it's a little slow all around the lake they said they stocked the middle lake and the top lake which is where we're at right now so um i told bear to go ahead and walk around and jig it out as he walk around and see what happens maybe we'll find the honey hole good times All right, you guys, bears back at it, jigging it out. Did you get any hits yet, bear? No, not yet. All right. He's still on the um, chartreuse power worm, you guys, on the jig head. Seeing what, what he can do. A little bit further away from the uh, drain, but he's just trying to find them right now. Always a good time. Got <laughs> 
He's in the air one. What would you catch? It's a bunch of people coming over here now. All right, you guys. I got a little meal hooked up for the, uh, see if it's any catfish out here. It's springtime, you know? I'm gonna get it out here and see, see what we can do on the cats. Good times. All right, you guys, Bear gave it the good old college try over there at the drain. So I'm gonna continue the effort over here with the uh, power worm. Fail to fit realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. You kind for regional today, enjoying our day, happy to be alive. Our Bell to Fit Realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. Inland Empire fishing, Yakaipa Regional Park fishing, and always fit fishing. You already know what it is. And And you already know what it is. It's fit fishing, baby. And we out here. <sighs> All right, Bear. Tell the people what you like about your type of regional park. What, what are some of the things you like about coming here? Oh, okay. So some of the things I like coming here, um, there's a, there's like a lot of room. There's a lot of space. We're up in the mountains, so it's not just like tight and congested. You can come here between May and August to go to a, do a, to a water park, and they stock um, trout and catfish. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Anything else? Uh, nah. No. All right. Good times. <laughs> Fit fishing, baby, and we out here. We're gonna spend our last hour at the middle lake, you guys. We out here. Our Bell to Fit Realtor, good times. Yakaipa, we in this, the second lake, the middle lake. They said to come right here by this little, um, I guess you call it a boat dock or whatever. They say the trout bite right here. We're gonna see what happens before we get out of here. We got a few more minutes. Good times. All right, you guys, not that many people out on this second lake. You see some families playing on these, um, whatever that's called, on the uh, playground or whatever couple people fishing, some people jigging on the other side of the lake right here. People jigging over there. So they said they stopped it. We'll see. I'm not sure, but it's fit fishing, baby. Mental fitness, physical fitness. Keep your mind right, keep your body right. That might be the secret spot over there. It looked like a lot of folks fishing over there. We'll see if they start catching. Whew. We have to tuck into this shade, you guys, up along this hill. Cause that sun was beating us up down there. 
you see our poles down there by the water. So we had to tuck up under the shade tree for a minute, 15 more minutes, and we out of here. Because we out here. Good times. Fail to fit realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. You're kind of regional today, enjoying our day, happy to be alive, and we're out. Our fail to fit realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. Inland Empire fishing, your type of regional park fishing, and always fit fishing. You already know what it is. And we're out. And you already know what it is. It's fit fishing, baby. And we out here. Peace, you guys. Our Veil to Fit Realtor back with another Sunday motivation. And today's Sunday motivation comes from a quote from a leadership expert, John Maxwell. And what he says is, leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. And John Maxwell wrote a book calling, um, called uh, How Successful Leaders uh, lead or what successful leaders do I should say and um, he talks about how the first step in leadership is position and positional power or authority doesn't mean anything it's just people listen to you because um, you tell them what to do and they have to do it or they'll get fired etc the second level would be someone that um, builds relationships so people listen to them because they connected with people but in this book, he also talks about the fourth uh, level of leadership, which is creating other leaders. And real leaders should be focused on creating other leaders. Most people just want people to follow them. They want to be the leader. They want to tell everybody what to do, but they don't want to empower others so that other people can, can lead and help the organization grow. If there's a bunch of leaders in the organization, then the organization will grow. So we have to understand in our leadership that we need to be teaching our followers how to be leaders constantly so that they can grow as a person, but the organization can grow as well. And this goes for fraternities, nonprofits, uh, corporate education, etc. All the leaders should be building other leaders. I am Arbel the Pit Realtor. That's today's Sunday motivation. <laughs>